All right, let's get this thing started. Uh, my name is Brad Messler. We're here to do some my, of my predictions that I had at the start of the year versus the current NHL standings. And I'll tell you, my standings are bad. <laughs> I mean, I mean, who expected Philly to do what they did? So, I, I, I mean, that's just me. That's just me. But, hey, I know you guys are like, man, this guy can't see anything. Let's get these out of the way real quick. All right, we're going to be going over the teams that I had eight from eighth place to first place. So to me, we're going to go over my list and what I have, which I have right here. So we're going to go over that and go over the teams that I had. And we're going to get my opinions on what I was thinking when I made this list. Um, and I'm sure you guys all had this team at the bottom. I had Philadelphia and I, I like Philadelphia. I'm wearing a Philadelphia hat. So um, one of the guys that I grew up with, uh, one of the girls I grew up with, her brother was drafted by the um, Philadelphia Flyers. I try and talk about it anytime I can. Ronnie Adder, and he just got called up recently, which is very exciting. So um, hopefully they make some trades. I actually think they should trade Sean Walker so they can keep uh, Ronnie Adder up. Um, and he'll be actually, he's got a two-way contract this year and a one-way contract next year, next year. So anyways, moving on. So Philadelphia. I had them last. I mean, they were supposed to, they were tanking. They, they were trying to tank. They were trying to bring in, they were trying to move all the stuff. And then, of course, you bring in John Tortorella just somehow just commands respect. And somehow he just gets these guys. He literally squeezes blood out of a stone. It is. He wrings the sponge out as much as he can. You always get more than you ask for. He's actually one of my favorite coaches. Just I think he's got, he's got the right mentality. He's got a good hockey mentality, but he's, there's a, there's like the underneath the compassion. It's like the dad who disciplines you, but he doesn't do it because he wants to. He does it because it's what's best for you. And I, that's what, that's what I see. That's how I see uh, uh, Philadelphia or John Tortorella. So I am so happy that Philadelphia is doing well. I still think they should sell, but it's tough because there's, they're, I mean, they're already five, there's still five points ahead of Jersey, right? I mean, Jersey got a game in hand, so call it three points ahead. I mean, they could legitimately like keep this spot. And honestly, it's, kind of a bummer because they have so many good parts they can sell so but i think there would still be a world where they can sell get some roster players back and get worse but still make the playoffs i mean it's absolutely possible um and especially with the islanders getting two points last night against the detroit red wings i was there it was a bummer <sighs> anyways so i was a red wings fan that's why i was there um but anyways that's, that's that's what i had for philly so for me that's that was I had them in eighth. So when I was wrong and Columbus is in eighth, that's not looking too good for them, huh? Uh, I think that they, sh they need a, they need a figure something out this summer. They, they need, I mean, I can't believe they picked up Severson and Provorov. Oh, you got bad defensively. Weird. Now your goal is not playing well. Yeah. Cause there's no defense for him. Uh, now, oh, you're sending your young guys down like David Savard and Adam Fantilli down to, to the minors. You know why you do that? It's because the, the environment's too toxic. So to me, Columbus, I thought Columbus would be better than this, right? So if, we, if we're going up, so the yeah, Columbus, Columbus and eighth, by the way, um, I, for me, I have, so I had, but I also pitched for doing better. In, in seventh place, I had Washington. I was like, oh, they're, they're not trying to win. They're trying to get OV the goal scoring. And to me, they were, they were going to be a top line and everything. I mean, they sold, they, they bought Sandine last year, but they sold on Gust Gustafson uh, well, they sold Gustafson, Gustafson. They sold Orloff and Hathaway to the Bruins. Took the first round pick, flipped it for Sandine. I thought they were going to be and Kucher or not Kucherov. Um, Kuzmenko still want as a trade request in. So I was like, okay, why they should be selling? So they're selling to me. To me, that's just what I thought is that they're like, hey, let's just get Obi across the finish line. Let's help Grandpa across his with his walker across the street. Uh, and that was it. That was, that, to me, that was the main focus. Um, and they lost Samsonov and uh, Vanacek. Vanacek, yeah. Vitek Vanacek, yes, because he went to the Devils. So, to me, that, I had Washington there. And I, and it's crazy. I mean, I'm not too far off there in six. They're still out of a playoff spot, but they're not, they're not too far out. And honestly, by point percent, percentage, they're better than the Islanders and New Jersey right now. So... Uh, anyways, so with that, I also moved on to my seventh place. I had Columbus. I had higher hopes for Columbus. They made moves. They tried getting Provorov. They tried getting, um, they, they, they traded for Severson. They gave him a big eight-year deal. Um, I was like, okay, they're, they're going to make moves. Like, they're going to do something to be better. So, like, I had hopes that they'd be better. 
But now looking back on it, that was kind of surprising. Basically, like it's like I I knew Provorov was a offensive guy. I didn't know he was this bad. I knew Severson was an offen- more offensive guy. Didn't know he was this bad. And you, I, thought, I was like, oh, you have Wierenski, you and Line is gone because he's in the pro- players program. I mean, by the way, donate. The link will be in, in the description. Donate to him for his mental health. Uh, Johnny Goudreau is donating a thousand dollars every point he's getting this season. Same, same with Line A to Men's Health. So go if you can donate to that. I did it earlier. I made a video about it. Do you want to check that out? So, anyways, um, I had Columbus in seventh. I I and it's I had them in set or six. I had them in six. Sorry, because it goes Philly, Washington, Columbus. I had them in six because I was like they need to be better. They're not good. Still not good. They gotta be better than any. I mean, they have good players. Like to me, the like and everyone keeps calling it the mid metropolitan. Like Philadelphia is supposed to be last. What, what's happening here? Like I, I don't, I don't understand it. I and I can't wait to see. Not that we wish anyone to get fired, but I think John Davidson needs to be fired because you need to move out the old guard and bring in fresh, fresh guys. Right? Like I don't think it's Pavel Vincent's fault. That they're not doing well, but it's still not you usually get like a like a good head coach head coach bump, and that's not happening for this team. And I just don't know how to help them anymore. So moving on. Oh, I don't want to be blue, I want to be orange. Um reason my skin tone. <laughs> Anywho, actually no, let's, let's go back to white. I like that better. Anyways, so moving back, we got the New York Islanders. So we have the Islanders here. Um, I was very impressed at how well they played against the Red Wings last night. Um I mean, they're one of those teams that I don't, they'll, to me, especially this iteration of the team, they'll never be a number one in the division. Um, but they'll always be a pain in the ass. And they have, of course, you, know, you have Sorokin, you have Matt Barzell, you have Noah Dobson, who's having like a career year. He's got like a point per game as a defenseman um, playing out of his mind. I think he's got like 70 points in 59 games, so which phenomenal, awesome. Um, but I had them missing the playoffs to me. I had them missing the playoffs still just barely. Um, I still think that could happen. And I think the Islanders are, are not going to make a, no, a big enough move. Um, uh, I think they're going to stay the course cause they don't got cap space. There's no cap space. They signed Horvat to this eight year deal. They signed Pierre Engvall to the eight, the seven year deal. They did, I mean, they did all these big deals and it doesn't make sense. There's what work with what cap space are you going to do it? I know JG, uh, Pedro, is in trade talks, so maybe they move out his contract. But really, like, what do you get back for that? Like, you're not going to get, like, a valuable asset unless you're trading out, like, a first-round pick with that. And I don't know if they're going – I don't know if they're willing to do that, right? So, also, Romanoff played really well. That was a smart moving that first-round pick for him uh, to Montreal. So, moving on. So, uh, that was – so, I have New York Islanders in fifth place, in fourth place, and I really, really want to believe it. And I – it's still going to happen. By point percentage – by five point, look me, in, look me in the GD eyes. By points percentage, Pittsburgh is in this. They are sixty-two points. They have two games on the on the New Jersey, New, Jersey, New Jersey Devils and the Islanders, which means if they won both games, they'd have six-six points, which puts them in a wild card. Well, in the fourth in the uh, Metro, it doesn't put them in a, uh, a spot. I think, I think that would. I think looking at this, Atlantic. So Tampa would be still in, in the other wild card spot, but they would be still in the fight for it. There would still be a fight. But again, I think, I think that, I think it, for this year, move out Gensel, take take the L, and that's okay. Take the L. Say hey, do what Washington did. Miss the mi, in, Washington intentionally sold and missed the playoffs. Pittsburgh should do that or sell on Gensel and try and do, try and do what um they did with Lindholm, right? Calgary did with Lindholm. Calgary's I was on a heater for a bit and the Kuzmenko was looking really good. So trying to do something like that where you can get a player back that's not fitting in the other team system and they got to move cap. I think they could do that for Gensel, especially because he's hurt too. He's not benefiting the team right now. But there's an opportunity where Pittsburgh would be it'd be wild. It's very unlikely. I think there's like a 73% chance that Pittsburgh comes back. But it's a, it, there's a 70, 73% chance that they miss the playoffs. Sorry. Um, and so I, I hope it with, – with Crosby, you, you can never – count them out and Jari's of course playing out of his mind leading the NHL in shutouts this year it's a bummer man it's, it is a really big bummer so um but that's one of my L's for sure um my third place spot um I I okay so this is my own fault I'm biased I don't I don't have a lot of confidence in the Rangers 
Um, Shesterkin, I just didn't have a lot of confidence. I thought he was like having a good year last year, and he's been he's been good. Really, I mean, clearly he's been good, right? I mean, look at you have look where they're in goals for goals against this year. The only one lower than them in the New York Rangers is the Pittsburgh Penguins, which is by the way is crazy. By the way, Pittsburgh Penguins have less goals, let less goal in, and they're six spot difference. Um, there's a 21 point difference in them. They just can't put goals in, which is just again mind boggling. But anyways, New York Rangers um, playing extremely well. Everyone's on fire. Panarin's going to have over 100 points. Uh, the kids are looking all right. Cheeto's of course out. Um, Kako's looking fine, but Lafreniere is looking very good. I mean, starting to break out finally, starting to develop, which is good. And so to me, I I completely doubt the New York Rangers. I I thought they were starting to get old. Prove me wrong. And there's also there's also talks. It's not me. It's what I hear that. New York and Vancouver were talking about getting Patterson. Now it's currently that it sounds like Carolina is the front runner if he get, if he gets traded. But now that trade talks to start up again, we'll see what happens. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. So moving on, second place. I had Carolina, nailed it. The only one that I actually nailed. Right. Oopsie, my bad. Uh, the only one that I actually nailed. Um, and do you imagine if they traded Patterson right now too, dude. It'd be so good. And matching up against Philadelphia right now in the playoffs would be, I mean, you don't want to play Philadelphia in the playoffs. I think they'll definitely take Carolina seven games. Um, and they're, they're just tough, man. It's Philadelphia. It's that blue collar, like Detroit. Detroit. So, um, uh, again, Carolina's playing very well. I mean, with the, the poor goal thing they've been getting, um, with uh, Freddie Anderson out. But they're playing well. I mean, they're playing very well. I mean, you can, as you can see, they're, they're up there with the, some of the top teams in the league. So it's great. And for me, the last team, if you, you, you're you waiting for it. I know you are. You Newark living people. Jersey. I had Jersey. They played so well last year. And they played so well against the, the New York Rangers. I was like, sold. Done. They got this. Like, Schmid played well in goal. Jack Hughes is on fire. He gets hurt. I mean, he's just playing well. Like, I was like, oh, you guys signed Ty- Timo Meyer. He'll figure out his game. What happened? Uh-huh. Like, I know, and, and, and now they might trade for Markstrom. There's still talks about them trading for Markstrom. I think if you're going to do it, just do it. Like, to me, uh, I, I I would say, I would say if I was New Jersey, I would, I mean, I just kind of, may, if, you met, if I was New Jersey, I wouldn't make the trade. If I was Calgary, I would. Um, because Calgary needs to sell him while his value is high because last year they wouldn't be able to trade him. Uh, and this year they can, right? He's at a high value. Markstrom has a huge value. If I was New Jersey, I would not do that at this point. I would just kind of keep working, try and make the playoffs. If you don't make it, that's okay. Just make the moves you need to. Upgrade your goaltending. Let your young guys develop, Schmid and uh, Nico Dawes. Um, two great young goaltenders around the same age too. Um, don't trade them. They're very good. I think it's going to be similar because you don't want to do a thing where like you have like Devin Levi going to Buffalo for like a rental. Um, and, but I get, of course, Markstrom would be here for another two more years, I believe on this contract. So anyways, I, again, I, I had New Jersey wait. So the only win I got, I got a one out of eight. I got Carolina. Hell yeah, Carolina. So anyways, that's what, that's what the ranking that I have for the Metro, Division, uh, let me know what your thoughts are. Well, who'd you have? Who did, who did you miss on completely? Um, I just told you mine. I showed you mine. You show me yours, right? That's how, that's how it goes, right? So show me uh, what you got. Hit like, subscribe, comment, uh, and I uh, love you. Bye.